the Empress Palace in Johannesburg, Gauteng. I'm here with the leader of the official opposition in Parliament, John Steenhuizen. John, how do you feel about this whole two days and the convention? Well, I think it's been absolutely historic, and it's been like having a ringside seat as history as we start to plan the next chapter in the South African story, and the DA is going to be right at the heart of that. In April this year, when I announced the Moonshot Pact, as it was known then, uh, now the multi-party charter, so many people said it's not going to happen. It's pie in the sky. It's a dream. But here we are today, seven parties with an agreement to work together to unseat the ANC in next year's election. And not only that, to put on the table a plan that's going to rescue South Africa. I would say not only are we off the launch pad, but this moonshot's all the way up, ready to take on the ANC in the next election. So tell us, we, we've concluded everything, we've seen the signing of the declarations, but what would you say was your highlight between, in, in this convention? I think it was, um, was being able to see the maturity with which the leaders have all sat around the table. No winners, no losers. The big winner here, South Africa, the South African people, because uppermost in all of the discussions was not political positions or patronage or that. It was how do we rescue the people of South Africa from the clutches of corruption, maladministration, hunger, unemployment, a rampant crime rate. How do we help the people at home to get ahead and to get a hand up and to get a government that's going to be on their side? And that's what's informative. And that, for me, was so exciting to see for once, the people coming before the politicians. Yeah. So where to from here? So we're gonna now obviously throw this open to civil society. We need to grow the ecosystem of change. But here's the thing, this agreement and this pact will remain words on a piece of paper with some very nice signatures, unless the people at home play their part now. We need you, South Africa. We as the political parties can do so much, but if we're gonna rescue the country, we need you on our team. And that's why you've got to go to check.da.org.za and check that you registered to vote. There are 27 million people who didn't vote in the last election. If just 10% of you got out of your armchair, got excited about what we're doing and made sure that they were registered and came out to vote, we can sweep this government out of power next year and you can have a government that's gonna be working every single day for you, spending your money on you building a better future for you, building a better future for your children. That's what government is about, working for the people, not for the politicians. Just the final shots to everybody at home, our final message of hope. What do you have to say to everyone, John? South Africa is a great country and she is well worth the fighting for. We need everybody in this country excited, energized and vigorously on the front lines of building the change wave that's going to sweep the ANC out and sweep in a new government of hope, prosperity and opportunity for all South Africans. Yeah. There you have it. That is the leader of the official opposition in the South African parliament, John Steenhuizen.